Sky Alert Weather with Chief Meteorologist Gary Frank. Looking at our current, still 75 in LA, 80 Fresno, 79 in San Diego. Now, it's not often that we match the temperature at this hour in San Diego. And one of the reasons is because we have Santa Ana winds and a high pressure really set up in the Great Basin, driving down warm north winds for those areas. 78 right now at 13 on your side, 73 in Heber, 74 Calexico, 79 in Yuma at MCAS, 75 Imperial County Airport, 70 at NAF. Just one look at the microclimates throughout the area because we range from 70 up to 81 degrees. But one of the reasons we're so dry that is just bringing in from that north breeze. That is what the north breeze spells for us. Very dry air throughout the area with a 13 degree dew point, 18 in Imperial, 25 in El Centro, 7 mile per hour wind, nice and light in Imperial Valley, 10 in Yuma, and 22 still in Blythe. And we're going to continue to see breezes over the next couple of hours before they subside after midnight in Blythe. So if you're wondering why it's still breezy, that's what you're seeing. And we're going to continue to see those winds fall throughout the rest of the evening with 60 to 68 expected. North breeze at 10 to 15, plenty of clear skies. That is going to be zero issue whatsoever. As I mentioned, this high is so strong. Now it is bringing in our winds and that's what we're seeing and we're gonna to continue to do so as we move forward because of the fact that that high pressure is settled. And as you look at Skylar Windcast, 17 in quartzite overnight, still a little breezy, but as we pick up tomorrow, not quite seeing the amount of 20s on here. And I still think we're gonna see a pretty hefty breeze, but it'll start to die off by the evening. And then as we head towards Friday, even more so. So 71 to start, we'll see our breezes still at gusting to 30 miles per hour, 86 up to 91, sunshine and plenty of it. In Imperial Valley, 65, Northwest breeze 10 to 15, 86 at noon, 91 at 4 p.m. Nice, comfortable, clear. But we are going to see some changes in the seven-day forecast, and they range in two separate directions. Here's the high that I mentioned, just parked right over the Great Basin region, driving down north breezes right over the tops of the Sierra Nevadas. As that breeze goes down the slopes of the mountain, it warms up, and that is why you're seeing it so very warm. It's because this high is so strong, and as it drives, you see the direction of the arrows. For us, it's straight down the Colorado River Valley. Anytime we see this, typically north breeze. But as it goes off the Sierra Nevadas, it's offshore and it warms up. And for us, where that steady north breeze, we'll continue to see it throughout the next couple of days before we start to taper off as that moves right over our area. Friday, early in the morning, you see the position of this high starts to set a little bit further to the east. And as it does so, it warms up as well, even strengthens right over the panhandle of Oklahoma. As that exits, we see cool air on the other side and a pattern shift. So we're going to go 91 on Thursday, 99 and sunny on Friday. It'll be calmer Friday, Saturday as well, but that allows it to warm up quite a bit. 101 on Sunday, 96, and then cooling down closer to these seasonal norms, if not even below it. But you know what that means. We see a couple more days of breezes, and I expect those to be from the west versus the north. What you're seeing right now is we see it a low pressure versus a high pressure. We'll continue to track that as we hit near record temps on Saturday. We'll send it back to you.